Hello new friend. Thank you for clicking on my channel, Healing Tea Talk. Are you here because you are at a crossroads in life, really wondering what is the next best step? Will your desires and dreams ever come to fruition in love, or money, or your career? Well, I may not know the exact answers to that, but what I can do is be in agreement with you seeking guidance from the Holy Spirit for what is in your best interest and get you to the greatest version of yourself. All of the messages may not resonate with everyone, but I do believe there will be something you can get out of this that you could take away that's positive and that you can apply to your life. Now, here is your reading. God bless. Hello, Leo friends. Welcome to your June 14th through the 16th weekend reading. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. Um, I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Click on this channel for advice or guidance. Uh, I believe that you were led here um, by the right spirit, the right forces, the Holy Spirit. Um, and so my prayer for you, Leo, is for an abundant weekend for divine protection, that you get guidance today that will lead you to the greatest version of yourself. That's the whole reason I am here also want to mention to you guys that for every 100 subscribers that I get, I will be offering a free personal recorded 30-minute reading. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and comment. So if you subscribe and comment, I'll automatically add your name to the drawing, okay? So with that being said, Leo, we're going to get three oracle cards for you for this weekend. Um, time is fluid, so this could things could occur beyond this weekend, but the intention is to get some guidance for the very near future, okay? So the first card that came up for you was the child card from the angel guidance deck. It says, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. And then at the bottom of the deck is shower of abundance, Leo. And it says, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. Okay, so those are your first two guidance cards. This next deck is the uh, Whispers, Nature's Whispers deck um, <clears throat> by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. Okay, um, the card that just fell out says, let love be your beacon. And then number six is the big picture. So we will get more insight on why those two came out. And then finally, Leo, advice from the goddess guidance, gu goddess guidance oracle deck, okay. All right, thank you, Holy Spirit, for the highest level of divine guidance for Leo for June 14th through the 16th. And then receptivity, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, <clears throat> and ability to give to others. And then at the bottom of that is sensitivity. And it says you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations and chemicals leo Alrighty. so oftentimes i have seen those two cards go together um especially if the divine wants to um share something with you messages with you uh, if the holy spirit is trying to speak to you or make you aware of something uh, your receptivity and sensitivity may, those cards may come out together. So the first card I have for you is Six of Cups, which represents uh, family life, home life. Um, also, when I see this card, oftentimes it has to do with children. So it makes sense sort of that you got this child card. There could be, you might be around children today or tomorrow. We will get, um, I think I'll do one more. Card. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the highest level of divine guidance. And we'll get 
two guards for each category and then I'll clarify. And then the three of swords came out. Swords energy is our air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay. Um, next is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune speaks to an end of karmic cycles. So already with just the Three of Swords and Wheel of Fortune, Leo, it just seems like something is coming to an end this weekend or will come to an end soon. It seems to be karmic. There's a King of Pentacles here that is Earth Sign Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, hmm. And so I'll get the guidance on let love be your beacon. Um, but you are being encouraged to look at this from a broader perspective. Look at the big picture. And see at the bottom of the card is the lover's card. This is Gemini energy. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Alrighty. And then we'll get two cards for Sunday. The world came out. Again, a major, it's a major shift, Leo, in, in energy and purpose. Okay. So something is coming to an end, maybe a karmic cycle, definitely. And you have a, a new beginning here. You are definitely being encouraged to broaden your perspective on some kind of issue. Okay. And with the King of Pentacles here too, with the Shower of Abundance card, and I'll pick them up in a second to remind you, um, I do feel like if there was something you were concerned about, like maybe there's a turn for the better in your finances. Um, and here is the Four of Wands. Um, so I think it's going to be a great weekend. It looks like there's an event coming up. But this Four stands for very stable energy. Um, Wands energy, of course, is our fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, and your sign, Leo. So I just feel like there is going to be, maybe there's a, going to be a new addition to your family with the world card here. Um, the person could be of a dif different nationality sometimes. But I do feel like, Leo, that things are turning for the better with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So things are, things are moving in your favor. For some of you, um, you are seeing a change in your finances here with the Wheel of Fortune and the king of pentacles this weekend and the shower of abundance card there could definitely be a shift in the energy involving your finances you could be getting wiser about how to spend your money being wiser about how to yeah how to utilize your resources okay and you get some divine guidance here with this wheel of fortune um i see the the major arcana as um as God working behind the scenes for our greatest good. That's how I look at major arcana cards often. Um, is what the divine does. Like what is his part and what is our part. And sometimes when we don't have those things clear. We get into a little bit of trouble don't we. So knowing what is God's part and what is our part. Um, yeah definitely. So again I like that. Because the divine is giving you a brand new start and a new perspective here, Leo. And I don't know if the number six means anything to anyone, but with the big picture card here, um, it's definitely a shift from maybe being in the weeds to looking at things uh, in, a, in a broader way. So let's get some clarification on these cards. Alrighty, so here, let me. Alright, Holy Spirit, please give me the highest level of divine guidance for Leo. We are clarifying the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords here. Alrighty, so the Eight of Cups here, Water, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, a lot of times, I think there has been a heartbreak. There could be a breakup this weekend for some of you. Um, with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Can we clarify the Three of Swords, Holy Spirit? Can we clarify the Three of Swords, please? For Leo, the weekend of June 14th through the 16th. 
what would you like for them to know? Okay, and the Queen of Cups came out. So you could be dealing with a um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio here. Leo, and so it could be with this Cups energy here that, yeah, there's some kind of, of breakup. Okay. Um, that could disturb your family life. Um, I feel like the encouragement is to think about the children in this. If you are a couple with children, married or, or otherwise, uh, definitely think about the children. Take care for how this could impact them. Um, I would also advise you to um, think about, you know, the words. If you all are breaking up, what would you say? Think carefully about that before... Um, how think about how to roll out a separation okay clarifying the will of fortune is the ace of wands leo which is beautiful divinely inspired creativity a new beginning and I, I i feel like this new this ace of wands and wheel of fortune gives you some kind of idea that shifts your financial picture into the positive okay and it is divinely inspired creativity wands energy is your energy leo Okay, and clarifying Holy Spirit, the King of Pentacles, please. For my Leo friends, what would you like for them to know? We are clarifying the King of Pentacles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you definitely have a shift, Leo, in your financial outlook. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Alrighty, the eight. So you have a couple eights here, um, which to me reflect um, the shape of eight is sort of like infinity, right? It doesn't end, but it does look like, you know, someone walks away. It could be a um, an earth sign that's walking away or an air sign. Um, not sure. All of the All of the elements are represented here, but whatever happens... Um, it is for your greatest good and for your benefit. Okay. Definitely. And I want to take a look at something here. Just a moment, Leo. I'm just looking up something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm just getting a little more clarity, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, so, you know, I'm looking at um, some other meanings of the number eight, and I just want to make sure that you guys get the message. It's not about my pride or anything like that. I just want to make sure I give you a message that is uh, true. So the number eight um, speaks to self-empowerment. It also speaks to striving, success, striving forward, um, positive abundance, and um, eight is the number of karma, which makes sense with this wheel of fortune here. So yeah, there's a karmic cycle definitely coming to an end, which is beautiful, uh, Leo. That's excellent, and I thank you for the clarification, Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, you do definitely have some financial abundance coming to you with this Ten of Pentacles, and Eight also represents that as well. Okay, now we're going to clarify the World card. Holy Spirit, what would you like for Leo to know about this World card here? I wonder, too... Leo, if some of you are going to be doing missions or something like that, that came to me just now. Um, and so if you are going to be doing any type of healing work, missions work, um, make sure that you, you know, 
do some type of uh, cleanse, detox, go to your doctor, get all of your shots. Um, you could be traveling for an event and just be mindful of your health and receptivity to um, germs and things like that in other parts of the world. That's coming to me. Yeah, the world is clarifying the world. Okay, so some of you definitely have an international trip coming. Um, and I believe that it's going to offer you a really spiritual download, um, definitely. Some of you could be traveling for a destination wedding with this Four of Wands here. And yeah, clarifying the Four of Wands is the Eight of Wands. So, which is really fast communication, fast moving energy, um, things happening quickly. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands, which is the ability that's all wands energy is definitely you leo so it is definitely manifesting um something this is also like my inner confidence card so for a lot of you sorry about the glare for a lot of you this is about a reawakening of who you are in your person it is about um your self-esteem boosting about being sure of who you are um, not losing yourself in someone else, okay? Um, the number three also has to do with uh, adventure, inspiration, creativity. All you, Leo, okay? So some of you could be going on a whirlwind adventure, um, traveling overseas, I'm getting again. Um, but the world, uh, clarifying the world is just emphasizing it's a double confirmation, Leo. If you were wondering, should you go to something this weekend? It just looks like it's a, a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful experience. I don't know why I'm thinking eat, pray, love. I'm thinking India. I'm thinking um, because of the receptivity card that I'm looking at here and the sensitivity card. I just, and the world, it's just a really... I think it's going to be a very enriching cultural experience for you. See here how it looks like that's more Egyptian and this is more Asian. So some of you, I definitely see you traveling in internationally. Okay. I do want to read this, Let Love Be Your Beacon, uh, Leo. And it says, lead with love. When you enter into a new situation, which I see many of you are, see love paving the way. If it is a tense situation or a work environment, do a visual visualization exercise of filling the space, space with bright, beautiful love for everyone involved, including yourself. Acknowledge what is going on and be willing to change how you are approaching this. Communication will be harmonious and you'll have greater prospect to create what you are looking for. Focus on the light within you. Imagine this light shining out of you. Your inner light will permit you to see the world with new eyes and learn things every day of your life so yeah this is making a lot of sense isn't it leo that many of you will be broadening your perspective because you're going to uh definitely a, a new world even if you're not literally traveling can happen when you get married it's a completely new perspective uh, especially if the person has children um that are not or you you're becoming a blended family you could be encouraged um, in this reading to, you know, sort of let go of past hurt, your past understanding of what that means, and look at things from a broader perspective, okay? Um, and then let me just read here to the big picture for you. It says, there is so much more going on than you realize. When we get up in our heads and overthink things, we start to miss much of what is going on in the world around us. You might be trying to micromanage a situation and are too focused on small details. Try looking at this from different angles. If you've been struggling with a problem or tough situation, this card can signal that you will find the answers if you stand back and view everything from a larger perspective or someone else's viewpoint, which I think I did say that to you, Leo. So I definitely could sense from the beginning that you were being encouraged to broaden your perspective for sure. Uh, and again, if this is not 
going to a new place. You have one world card here, clarifying another one. It's definitely asking you to look at this new foundational relationship through the eyes of love, okay? And take into consideration everyone involved. See here, there's a child there. Um, there are pets, <laughs> so somebody could be getting involved with someone with pets, but you do need to think about everyone involved in this family situation. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, that is the guidance that I have been given for you all, Leo, for this weekend. I hope that it resonates. If so, please comment, let me know, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for trusting me with the guidance that I get from above. I'm so grateful and thankful that you're here. And we are approaching 200 subscribers really quickly. So be on the lookout for an announcement on that free drawing. You could be the winner. All right, you guys, with that said, have a great weekend. God bless.